Hello! Now that there have been past a couple of months since Nick started making his uh, overviews of his Bionicle Max and they have and they have had new updates and they have had new parts and new colors and ju are just much better now and that the setup has changed a lot and the light looks better and everything is just better we thought that it was time to start making the new overviews of the characters so here we will start and we the three who are all about this but it was time to start with a myth mythical character uh, actually it was the monitor's idea yeah it was my idea so now let's start bye okay hello here's a video in which I and Nick will show you an overview of my mock Makuta Tyrodex Minecraft shape right after I uh, got my camera a little high and I think it needs to be even more high even higher Tyrodexism mm, <laughs> well, here is my Makuta Tyrodex monitor shape, but the camera was uh, uh, filming the mini features, and now it needs to film something bigger, so that's not going well. And I think it's yeah, it's better now. Here is Makuta Tyrodex monitor shape, and if I just got Camera. <laughs> this looks horrible. But well, okay, it's uh, better to film from close now. So here it is. And well, about uh, a little about the changes I made. I made a lot of changes in this one. Uh, I put some detail. Uh, well, it's not actually detail to look, but for the belt. Here are some of these new uh, two pins and one pinhole uh, taking the connectors, which fit better than the original parts that were included there. And I changed the hips a lot. The first ones weren't very stable, and I changed a lot in it, so I guess it's very stable now. Uh, at first, the foot is less stable attached. This time just with one pin axle, but the, the rest is really stable, uh, stable attached now. Um, when I, uh, first it was, I, uh, this part, the two socket jo joints you see now, the ball cups, where one a long double sided ball cup from this workout hind legs. And because of that, it only had one attach point for everything that is on here. So the uh, friction uh, or the uh, more stably stabilizer of the legs and the hip friction adders, the stabilizer of the hips and the feet armor and the borok shield. It was all attached on one connection point and there was a pin axle here and that there was a little Technic connector and that there was an exo to attach feet and from the, uh, the feet we attached all of it so it was all attached to one pin axle and that wasn't really stable but now it is attached to more points than just one pin axle so that is the most important change I made I also changed the feet um, you can't pull it off right now you can you need to take the connectors off from the side uh, before you can start pulling off the field food and I think it also it is also lighter right now it uses uh, uh, it is less solid and it was a bit too solid I think I guess 
So, right now it's just better. There are, and I have also changed this weapon instead of um, to normal, 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 uh, double XO holes, which are a half thick. I just used this new uh, uh, weapon barrel from Hero Factory or from Superheroes theme, and. Uh, on that I used the uh, the same the same uh, as before. Just the hammer. That is some kind of the power source of this weapon. The hammer that's inside, and then uh, just the Nuchu Metro Nuchu weapon. And we're back. Sorry, I forgot to uh, delete my other videos. So I was with the old Metro Nuchu. Uh, uh, weapons and I also took off the three long pins that were on here and I from more distance I got still got the right look for the mug so that's better now and well then we go to the absolute ref overview of the being so it's a minotaur yeah, it's a monitor, and so it has like this little guy here, uh, hooves as feet. I don't know if the real monitor from mythology actually has it, but I'm not the only one to give it, as the little one has it too. And hooves, the hoof feet are actually the uh, the. Uh, shuffles of Metro Winua and then there's a lot of Technic, a lot of connectors, a lot of stuff and I'm not going to tell you about that but then on there there is a, a face, a mm, Toa Mata face in a brown and then here are the socket joints to connect the uh, Faki lower legs a bit strange because it is a real uh, titan sized character but it still has uh, short lower legs weird but it fits then we got some uh, friction adders some stabilizers on the back and here we got the upper legs which are as long as the viscera uh, Mm, hind legs, but hind upper legs, but then the newer ones and well, I guess you just uh, uh, know what I mean. They're just as long as Piraka upper legs. And then on that we put the feet from Toa Mata in brown, and on the sides to give it a real minotaur, a uh, bull-like uh, hind legs look. We give it the shields, the ro uh, stone shields of the Borok Perak, the brown Borok, of course. Here we put Vaki uh, hips. Uh, the Vaki hips are the only illegal uh, bone trick I use in this mug. They don't really need, uh, fit like that. There's just a little, 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 little slight, tiny, tiny, uh, a bit plastic too much on the part to make it fit on here. You can see that it sticks. This part sticks out here a little bit. Now I don't know why, but it does like that. And because of that, you won't be able to attach the vacuum hips like that. So I took off a little bit of plastic from the Vaki hips using a rock and now it fits and normally I don't use illegal tricks but now I did and that is well uh, I'm okay with it uh, for uh, the, uh, because it's the only one in this mod and uh, I already put the ball like this a long time ago so I couldn't change it right now and there was really not a, a, a good way to change it or to replace it so I just kept it like this e even though it's illegal it really still fits it doesn't fit but it 
fits the character. So that is okay with me. Then we go again to a lot and a lot of technique on the back. Here you can see a simple beam. Here a lot of technical the connectors. Then we got the stabilizers on the uh, hips, which is the same style as for Nebula. Uh, uh, yeah, for Nebula. Uh, from on the back, I also changed these to black. They were originally grey, but I wanted them to be synchronized with these. So now they are black. And, well, there are just uh, the insides of Hordika heads. The ball joint with two exos used in there, just like for Nebula. Uh, the uh, uh, huh? I don't know. Uh, well, uh, the places where everything is attached and uh, the size and the stuff is the same as for Nebula, but the ways, so uh, what kind of connectors are used and the both stuff, so things like that are really originally made so it's um, the way of uh, for Nebula and then uh, change it to fit the mug in which we're bombing right now then from the beam and black we go down and we see a tail coming from it from tubes or hoses three hoses attached to each other by Pins. Then we go down and we see a pin with a stud on it and a hole in it, on which we attach this Hero Factory part. And that is a simple 3.0 uh, spike, a long spike, no special about it, just a long spike, which really fits the tail of this character. Even though I don't think that. Minus stars need long tail. Do you have a tail now? Yeah, it doesn't have a tail. It doesn't have a tail. No. This one, torso actually kind of has the same concept as this one. I mean, he is bulky. Yes, he uh, muscles, a six pack. But this one, of course, doesn't because any n n not any biomechanical has. But he. Uh, has kind of a shape of torso of which you may have seen which it looks like he is very muscular so that's also okay the uh, torso is made of a Mata torso in brown on which a torso of a Inika is attached in black and on that there is a uh, stone shields from Parak attached. On the sides there are some little beams just to fill in space. I s uh, started to uh, remove all my beam like uh, fillings and armor but here it is really impossible to uh, remove and it really fits the model and I guess Lego will also use it and it fits the way of how the shoulder armor is attached and the way of the sides of the feet so it's okay on this, this one and here on the sides of the hips that's okay and inside of the hips I mean it's a it's a titan size so titan size can still use that but I uh, more mean my normal uh, sized marks don't really need to have uh, uh, beam like fillings, lift arm fillings. I have removed those uh, because uh, th they also made the marks too heavy and they also look okay with just normal armor and no, no not, not being too solid. If you make a mock too solid, it'll only get heavier and trickier to bolt. If you just give, uh, make it a little bit open from the inside you also will be able to build more on it and, and make more time for the absolute look of the parts for armor that are used so I started to make them less solid but this here needed to be solid so now I use <laughs> I don't know a couple of minutes just 
about these parts here. So then we go to the side and we see this time for real the upper legs of a uh, piraka and uh, the hind upper legs of a fish wreck, the long version. And on that we put a uh, beam. And on the back we put some Technic and a socket joint on which we attach this uh, small, uh, the smallest bone of Hero Factory on which we put these little arms from Metro Matoran on which we put socket joints which are attached with some Technic stuff and a slicer feet to the torso to give more stability and uh, don't take too much motion from the arms and the upper arms are armored by the feet of the Toa Mata in brown then we go lower and here is actually the only uh, place where the grey really sticks out I mean I tried to not to use too much grey but on the lower arms there is a lot of grey I don't know really why but it gives some kind of that look of being armored and then having, uh, not having armor on your uh, lower arms <laughs> my arms look really fake but the fact it's just because of the line and stuff they are not really that fake but uh, I'm not muscular and I'm not fat so uh, but it gives that look like being armored and just um, not uh, being close on your lower arms so you can more easily handle weapons or you are showing your muscles from your lower arms and stuff like that so I wanted to keep it like that like his skin color is maybe uh, uh, is gray but it is still uh, from the outside it's still robot it's all metal so it's not really his skin that is showing but just the concept of that and then into a robot so the look of that into a robot and then you get new inspiration to create that robot or biomechanical being which is robotic outside and then we are talking about the bionicle on the um, hind of the lower arms we put a black fishwork feet and that is just to uh, to make the a right shape it really fits like so and like so and then uh, uh, inside of the fishwork foot, uh, foot we put uh, some technical connectors to connect the steps of hunger from the black roxy uh, the spear ends of the black roxy and uh, these need to represent I'm really proud of this one this is actually a little bit of how the whole character started this represents a claw made out of hooves you can see these things on here these little teeth like things are here so it's like these uh, he has hooves on his front feet as first two and then they bend it like so and these went to the inside and this one to the outside and after that they actually were uh, changed into these claws which are not actually real claws I mean before all this they were but I had to change that and now they are just weapons on the side uh, he can use its power from here uh, it is Makoto Tiradox so there will be shadow powers out of here and his real hands are here I had to change it because there was no uh, not any motion but it looked really cool I mean this was on here and then there was a socket joint underneath and you could put the uh, weapon through it with the axle and it looks like these uh, hands were really holding it but I changed that and now he has Peach's hands and his hooves just changed into claw like things and went to the side 
And so you also got new inspiration to create something on a robotic character which is actually biomechanical. So how biological? Biological from the inside. And now we are done with the legs, with the torso and with the arms and also with the weapon. So now let's go to the head. On the head is original mask if you've seen that. On this angle you can really see how his uh, eyes uh, work. So uh, there is original mask. In that there is his original head in other colors. It is a the mask is the Kraken and it is a, a Mata head inside like on his feet but this time with a brain or eye color uh, it is orange because that is the one also used uh, in the head of uh, Onua and I wasn't able to get him out anymore and also I wanted him to be synchronized with that with the original Toas of Stone. Then we go to the horns, which are the weapons of Mantax, Mantax's claw. Or they are just the front feet of Click from the Brickmaster set, and that is why they are uh, black. And they can also be black from. The Von Nebula set from Hero Factory. And there is a lot more stuff you can tell about this part which I'm not going to do. But I give exact the right shape and look for the horns of this character. They are horn like. They uh, are evil like. And they are minotaur like and bull like and not human like. <laughs> and stuff. And they really fit with the mask. If you look it from here. It is really like, <laughs> it's actually a, a weird look, but these things here, the connection, uh, really fits behind the masks, like one shape going through here. And here's a little gear, or a little screw showing up, which I am showing you right now. Here is a little of the uh, mouth of the uh, Mata hat, and... Uh, it's showing out of there like it, it looks a little bit like ears and can also be <laughs> but this one has his ears piece behind his horns they are not for the same right but it's also just uh, some kind of story or wise connection of everything from the outside and I think that's a really cool look and then we go to again the same shape and solidness uh, in the horns and from that to the side, we get the real horns. I'm not really a fan of this being that open, but it doesn't really matter because it's still Bionicle, and Bionicle is always a lot of open. Look, here it's also open, and here it doesn't bother me. But it would be fun if there was some kind of this stabilizer also in here. Now it is a bit too open, but that is because they are meant to move. I'm not going to use them to move, but they are meant to move. That is because she looks like They are a little bit movey. They. Movey. They. Uh, movable, I mean. They can still move. Uh, even if you don't uh, use the real uh, movable function for Mantax to use them as a claw, they can still move. Uh, at first, I used an illegal belting trick and then they weren't able to move. But the parts were pushing against each other, just like the parts here were pushing against each other when I didn't use the rock. And so it was illegal and the parts were bending. I wasn't a fan of that. So I made them in an illegal trick, which also perfectly fits but gives them a little bit of motion. But when you're playing with it or posing it, that doesn't matter at all. So that's okay. Then on the back of the head, we put some of these uh, beams, these uh, strangely shaped beams, uh, egg-shaped beams, yeah, it's an egg shape, and in that way we really give the end of the shape of the head also a great shape. 
and here it is a little bit open so we can move his head backwards when you move these things to the side like so no not like that like so he can move apart well this is not the way it has to it has to be more like like this he's looking upwards this way he looks up and it can also fully look down, that is just great. That is what I designed it for. It can perfectly look perfectly well look down. There's no problem for that. Just evil and he can also look to the side. The arms also have the great motion. They have to have just to the front you can do it like so to the back you can do it until here so I guess that is just create motion and we go to the uh, to upwards or just like this upwards he has just all of his motion sometimes these uh, things don't take you uh, right pose when you put the arms back into place but that doesn't really 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 matter because you can put them back again and when you move the hat I guess they move the hat they will be on their place immediately well you put them on their place while doing so and they don't it doesn't re doesn't really matter if they are to the back but it is not the original pose but they don't get in the way of anything the legs can fully move forward so he can fully sit and then here are the lower legs uh, first I cut off a bit of the axle so um, uh, he won't be able to put it fully to the back but now without cutting the axle I put new ones in there I'll just able to see he's still able to fully move it like he was before I, uh, uh, when I cut the axle now there is no cut axle and it still has the same motion even better I guess so that's just just wonderful how how my experience balling experience and balling tricks improved in the last couple of months and years and well everything that just happened so thanks for your support for every for everything too I mean I, I I don't know how my life would have looked like if if you guys wouldn't watching be watching my video the only reason I'm still doing this is because you watch my video so thanks for that uh, you can also move them forward I put a little stopper on here because uh, Hydroxen also had it and uh, I think it will be appropriate appropriate for this one to have it too. And here is uh, if I don't don't and you put them to the f uh, too much to the front, it wouldn't be stopped by this, but by this. And if you were to do it uh, with too much force, it will break. The actual axle will break. But now it is stopped by a more uh, bigger platform, and so is easier to move and then I also made the, the platform of the feet really great just face big are the feet that is big enough I guess yeah, if they are to the back like face he's leaning to the back they are just connected to two axles here are these axles which need to hold up the whole character but Lego axles are really n unbreakable so uh, really hard to break so that's okay and then we go to where was I? oh yeah I was to the motion then this is what the feet can move to the back I uh, at a lot of time spent it to move this axle more down first he had a uh, little knife to the side which gave it a really great look 
and uh, a bit better shape but I have removed them in favor of having this axle this uh, and not an axle it is a bulk up down uh, sock joint so you can move this to the downwards the toe of the hoof downwards then you can also put it like this and that is just of the motion and the design of my mark story wise I will put stuff in the comments so don't forget to read the comments no not the comments sorry I mean the description and that is just the whole mark I hope you guys like my improved overfields and mini feature and uh, it wasn't completely going like I want I, I would want like it to have it a little bit more a little tiny bit more professional uh, just for the camera how the camera is but the lights are okay I guess the quality is okay uh, the time I took is okay so that's okay and only if I could get more right poses to place the uh, right angles angles to place the camera that will be better but I got the whole figure on there right now so that's alright and then I just say thanks for watching and more uh, 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 overviews of my old marks are coming up well old marks none of my marks is old but this one is one of my first marks so this one is one of my old marks I guess and then I just say uh, please don't forget to subscribe to see all of these other marks and there's also a lot more on my channel like opening bags of mini figures like making your refactory marks making set previews of upcoming sets with my own parts and Balding tips also, how to build, there's a lot of stuff and just thank you guys for watching and I hope you subscribe to see all of that stuff. Then if you liked the video, uh, please like, it's uh, really with the like button, th thumbs up, because uh, it took me a lot of time to make this and I have to spend a lot of time to improve my uh, overviews. And then... Uh, I'll see you guys again soon and I guess I just say bye well that's it for now so bye